What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 36 or 37, I can't remember what number we're on. It's the Rise to Glory, we're here with Gibraltar Apex and today we're taking on Apoel, as you can see in the UEFA Champions League second qualifying leg. So looking at it here, uh, we're going to get straight into this, no messing around, it's only been a week since the last episode. Not many fans turning up for this game. In terms of the team selection, fitness still a massive problem here, it's been an ongoing issue, I've been kind of annoyed by it. Uh, I'm going to go with it. In terms of instructions, we're going to change a few things, I think, here. We need to try and hit them on the break. The fullbacks need to drop back. I don't know. I feel like we need to play a little bit more defensively. I was looking through their squad prior, and they're a good team, Applewell. They're, they've got some fast players, Simeon Jackson. I think they have Orlando South, the former Reading man. So, yeah, we're going to try and sit a little bit deeper, try and hit some early crosses and see how we get on here. Just a little bit of news, Felix. He has been kicking up a fuss. Loads of teams interested in him. He's asked for me to let him go. The highest bid we've had so far, I think, is five hundred pounds. Absolute joke. So he's not going on at the mo going out at the moment. And also, uh, I can never say this guy's name. Gary Tano, uh, interest from Deportivo. You'll notice there. So that was kind of interesting. But anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? We have got a new player, and that's Ivan Labato. I'll show you guys him just quickly now. I kind of forgot that we had him. Can I get him on the subscription? I can. Excellent. So uh, looking at him here, really good fullback, nice little backup right back to have. We brought him in for £240, he's been playing for St. Joseph's regularly and uh, yeah, hopefully he can do a good job for us. But anyway, let's get into today's game. I'm going to show, I think, the other wingers and attacking players onto weaker foot, I think that could be useful. Weird formation they're using, the 4-2-1-2-1, but we'll see how we get on. Good reaction from this team, talk. just going to tell the players, there's no pressure, just give it all you've got, enjoy the game. They loved that. They absolutely loved it. Right, so going into this game, expectations, they're low. I don't expect a lot from this game. If we can hit them on the break, great. We need Felix to put in a top-notch performance in goal. Playing on the counter-attack, we're sitting a little bit deeper. As I mentioned, they've got some pretty fast players, which I'm a bit scared about. But early on here, we're, do we're doing okay. We're doing okay. They've only had one shot after 22 minutes. And look at that, possession. We are being dominated, but the shots... I mean, they're kind of in our favour, but we do need to defend here. Stilich going to give the ball away there. Now can we break? Ball up to Connolly. Running down this left-hand side. O'Connor there. Can he whip in a ball? He can. Oh, my gosh. What a finish. What a finish by Gary Tano. Take a bow, my son. I, I think the keeper got a hand on it, but he could only parry it in. How was this finished? He just marauded into the box. Can't wait to see this in 3D. O'Connor uh, there. Connolly with the initial pass, the ball whipped in, and he's just charging in on the penalty spot. Ooh. Keeper gets a pretty good hand to it, but it goes in, and we are 1-0 up with our first shot of the game. Uh, can't complain one little bit about that. A little bit of fortune, looking at that fitness. Oh my gosh, it's bad. The, the assistant's telling me to sub the players off. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the players on 50% condition. Right, I think we're going to just tell the players I'm happy with how things are going, then we're going to tell them we've got faith. They always love this. They always do, especially when you're leading and you're underdogs. But we've got the away goal. That could be really, really important. I think now, this is a bit uncharacteristic for me. I think we're going to go more defensive. I'm there, I'm saying it. Move the. We're going to move the wide midfielders back. Uh, do I want to change anything here? Maybe. Do I want... Yeah. The, uh, I'm going to take off, be more expressive, and maybe play a little bit wider. I think that's going to help us just a little bit. We'll get into the second half here. Um... Get back to the team talk. I couldn't remember if I'd done it for a second then, but we have done it. Right, second half here, away from home. Let's just hold on to what we've got if we can. If we hit them on the counter, fantastic, but we've got an away goal. If we can keep a clean sheet, it just puts us in such a nice position here. Um, do I want to make a change? I'm going to take off Morgan. We'll bring on Lobato, the new right back. We'll also, I think we're going to take off Holmes. Holmes is struggling a bit. Do I want to bring on Bonavia or do I want to take off O'Connor? O'Connor's got an assist, though. Like, he's not got the best rating, but he has got an assist already. I'll tell you what, we'll bring on Griffo. I'm going to make that change. Our midfield is absolutely exhausted looking at it out there. I might even take off Aaron Holmes sooner or later. Let's switch to contain. I'm squeaky bum time now. I just want to just want to park the bus. There is, what, 10 minutes left of this game? Look at the clock. Look at it tick away. There has been no highlights of this game. It's been a boring one. We'll make our last change now. We'll take off... Take off Sutton, 44% condition, oh dear. Not good for him, but if we can hold on here for a win, that would be amazing. There's going to be a chance here, is that? Oh my gosh, the ball. get it get it clear, boys, please, not like this. Not like this. Oh, he's offside? It's offside. Sit down. 
Stop celebrating Applewell. Oh my gosh. If we can hold on now, I'll just take it. That disallowed goal, like they deserve a goal. Look at those stats. They've only had two shots on goal, but somehow we have won today. What a performance that was, boys. People had us written off. You've proven them wrong. They are absolutely loving it out there, our players. I'm going to also tell them I was impressed with their work. I mean, what a, what a defensive performance that was. Gary Tano with the Man of the Match award as well. And we get an unlikely, unlikely away goal and keep a clean sheet. Looking at Gary Tano, he is improving a ton, the 15-year-old. Really excited to see how he might get on. I didn't realise this, but he's part Basque. Look at the stats here. How did we get on? I mean, we've been absolutely pinned to the wall there, but somehow we've come out on top. Lobato made his debut. What a performance that was. Good debut by him. We keep a clean sheet. Good stuff there. I think we can move on positively now. Worth noting, uh, Monte Montevio turned up for that game. But anyway, let's get to the next leg. We are at home. Hopefully, we can work some magic. I will join you guys in just a second for the second leg. Okay guys, so we are back, and just to confirm what I didn't know at the start of this episode, it is number 36. Went back and checked. Obviously a fantastic win in that first leg, looking for more of the same here. We are at home now against Apoel. That away goal could prove pretty crucial. Um, I mean, going into this game, I don't really know what to expect. Good news, I guess, is that our team is now fit for the most part. I let them have a rest for the entire week. Uh, bad news, Felix got a transfer offer from Barcelona, which I declined. You're probably wondering, well, how much did Barcelona B want to pay for him? £500. I told them to go stick it somewhere where the sun don't shine. They've not come back yet. Anyway, looking at the team, I think we're going to go with the same system we started the last game with. It seemed to work well. I'm going to let you guys into a little secret now. That first match, I had to re-commentate. My microphone wasn't plugged in. Absolutely horrific scenes. I sat there. I went rather mad over the first goal that we scored. I had to go and re-record it over the audio. If it were, let me know. Did I trick you or didn't I? I mean, the fact there weren't any mouse clicks perhaps gave it away. That's kind of a trademark of my videos. But anyway, let's get into this leg. I am doing this one live, can confirm. Look, Mouse is going round in circles over Apple, now over Draw. Actually, that doesn't really prove anything. Anyway, let's just get into the game here. We're going to stick with the 4-4-2 here, just the exact same system as before. Hopefully, we can get a good result here at home. They are playing a narrow 4-1-2-1-2. Kind of suits our system. Um, interesting that they're not playing kind of with wider players. That's something that I was a little bit scared of in the last game, the pace they have up front. I'm going to tell the players there's still no pressure on them. Just going to tell them, I, but I believe they've got what it takes. They all absolutely love me. Did I do opposition instructions? I skipped over them. Let's let's sort that out. Let's change this um, to make us show both their strikers onto their weaker foot. So they are playing with both Simeon Jackson and Christian. But yeah, we'll apply that team advice if it will allow me to apply it. And we will start the game right now. So... We'll see how we get on here. Just a reminder of the changing system. It's a deeper system. We're hitting earlier crosses. We're trying to work some magic, and we'll see how we get on here. Of course, we are playing at home, and they are on the attack early on here. We don't want to concede an early away goal. We want to hold on to that away goal advantage we have for as long as they have, or as long as we can even. Nice tackle there by Gilbert, but gives it straight back to Mitchell. And we are definitely going to need to defend well here as Constantist whips in the ball. Cleared away as only as far as Stilich. Now can we counter Peachman to Connolly. Connolly, you're fast, my son. Run. Run like the wind. Gary Tano, O'Connor, Robson shoots, hits the post. And it's collected by the goalkeeper. But we've hit the woodwork early on here. That is a not a bad way, I guess, to start the game. It would be better if it had gone in. But at least we look semi-lethal in front of goal. If we get a goal here, it's going to really put pressure on Apoel to go out there because they will need to score two goals. It'd almost be a disadvantage to score too early, but I'd still take it. They've got a chance here. Ball whipped in Christian with the header and, well, from being so close to taking the lead to suddenly being a goal down. Um, the cruelty that is football is kind of shown right there. In two minutes, we went from having a highlight down our own end to conceding, this time, Constantinitis. That sounds good, doesn't it? We'll go with that as his name. Passes it to Christian. Felix doesn't even react in goal. Questionable goalkeeping. And that kind of away goal advantage that I said I wanted to hold on to for as long as possible has just gone straight out of the window, unfortunately. Which is a, a bit of a shame. We have injured Simeon Jackson. I guess that's something good. Can we attack here? Connolly bringing the ball forward. Playing on counter, you know, we're not committing quite so many men up the field. But Glenn Gilbert there, O'Connor... Options inside goes to Gary Tano. 
to Robson. He's already hit the woodwork once. Morgan, can you do something with it? He dips in Robson. Robson, pull it back. Peachman's there. Peachman scores. It's 1-1. At the moment, we are going through. A reminder, though, that because of away goals, Applewell just need to score one more to be going through. But that is a, a lovely deep ball by Morgan. Robson just pulls the ball back really intelligently, and it's a tap in there for Peachman to score. He is loving it. It's 1-1 here. And we're not doing too badly. Now can we work some magic? Or No, no, we're just going to give the ball straight to them. Simeon Jackson carrying a knock through on goal. Cannot finish, though. That is why Norwich sold you, my friend. Although... I mean, we're probably going to live to regret saying that now. Talking smack. Jarlo scores. Makes it 2-1. And I mean, it's been an action-packed start to the game, I guess you could say. But at the moment, it's just not gone in our favour. Applewell 2-1 up here. Jarlo with the shot. Edge of the box from a corner. Felix makes a good effort to get to that one. I'll give him credit there. But unfortunately for us, it hits the back of our net. It's 2-1 here. And, um... Well, we have work to do here. We're going to need at least one more goal to even stand a chance of going through right now, Applewell, with their away goal advantage. Although we are on the attack here. Surely there can't be something straight from kickoff. O'Connor out wide to Glenn Gilbert. Whips in the ball. Connolly. Connolly shoots. Connolly. This is mental. It's 2 2. An immediate response. An immediate reply. And it's 2 2 all of a sudden. And now we're going through. Connolly. I mean, that's an insane touch with the header. To knock it down to himself. I don't know if that's actually possible in real life. I'm not going to complain about it though. Great stuff. I'm going to now switch to defensive. I think we need to try. I say I think we need to defend our lead. I say this now when we've already conceded two on the night. I mean it's been a goal packed game. I'd much rather have just had a boring nil nil and gone through. Right now we are going through but a reminder. One goal for Applewell puts them through. It's that kind of game. It's so close. And now they're on the attack. Stilich. To Simeon Jackson. I talked smack about him earlier. Pulls it back. Hits the crossbar. Clear it. Someone get it out. We've got a goal kick there. I don't know how. But with 35 minutes gone. It's 2-2 on the night. 3-2 on aggregate. But Applewell are just throwing everything at us. Evans. He looked offside. Christian shoots. He isn't offside. He scores. Applewell now lead on away goals. It's 3-2 on the night. 3-3 on aggregate. I mean it's been a bit of a mad start to the game. I feel hard done by here. Applewell. Zero clear-cut chances, three goals. We've had three clear-cut chances, only got the two. I mean, at least we're creating stuff, I guess you could say. At half-time here, it's going to be 3-2, um, 3-3 three, three, three on aggregate. I'm going to tell the players they've been unlucky so far. I know they're going to react amazingly to this. Look at that. They absolutely love it. Of course, our player's fitness being back to normal now is absolutely fantastic. We should be able to maintain... Um, our game in this second half and hopefully you know continue on I'm going to switch to counter we do need to just look to attack maybe a little bit more than we have done so far and we might have a chance here Robson whips it in the set piece cleared away is only as far as Connolly can he shoot everyone stands off Connolly he says I'll shoot then makes it 3-3 on the night is a hundredth goal for Gibraltar Apex I don't know if it could come at a more important time Connolly remember the name one of the big players here at the club number nine he just hammers it in. No one closes him down. Applewell stand off him. He just says, thank you very much. And now it's 4-3 again. And this game has just turned into a game of playground football. Defending is no longer existent. There is no such thing as defence, only goals. Um, looking at the kind of player fitness, we've got a few players struggling a bit. Holmes has had an absolutely awful game. I'm going to bring on Bonavia at centre-back. Get some fresh legs there, but also get a player who isn't having a mare. We have 15 minutes left to hold on here. Applewell on the attack again. They only need one goal to be back in this, so we've got to be very wary here. Jarlo to Evans, out wide. Orlando Sa back post, blocked away. Can we counter now? That was a clear-cut chance, apparently. Just end the highlight. Don't show us anything more. O'Connor, I mean, unless we score that, I mean, show us that if that happens. Ten minutes left here. I just go contain now, surely. Surely I just go contain. That's got to be what I do. I've just got to park the bus. Just go route one. <laughs> Waste time whenever possible. Why Why is our narrow and a width set to one? Is that... What's caused that? Is it... What the... That's very weird. I mean, I don't know what... <laughs> I think we found a bug. We'll just ignore it. Pretend it didn't happen. Let's go balanced. Apparently balanced is there. Which instruction has made it go this narrow? Is it time waste? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Play even safer. 
I'm gonna I've never I don't think I've ever ticked play even safer. We're gonna tick it today. We can also make a change or two. I realised just now the time's still been ticking at the top, and I forgot to pause it under the nerves of this game. I didn't pause. I mean, it might not cost us here. If we win this, we're going through again. And we're going to reach the third round for the second year in a row. And I think we are going to do it. Applewell, the Cypriot champions. A team who I think reached the Champions League knockout stage not that long ago. They're out. We are through. What a massive game that was. What a ridiculous match it was as well. 3-3. Free, free. Madness. Absolute madness. I, I didn't think we'd score three. But we have done. I mean, if you told me we were going to concede three away goals and not lose, I would have laughed at you. We aren't going to be taking on Tel Aviv in that next leg. Hopefully, I'll see you guys for that game. I actually was looking at Tel Aviv's squad earlier when I saw that they were likely to be the team we'd get drawn against. Because um, I saw the draw and saw that they'd won their first leg 3-1. Their team's good, but their team isn't better than Applewell's. So who knows what could happen there. If we get a win in that match, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll run around... I don't, I, I don't know, I might get a Gibraltar national team shirt with my name on the back or something. Either way, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Mad result. Crazy second match. That was one of the weirder live comms I've had to do. I now need to cancel these friendlies, which um, I organised for no apparent reason. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys for the next game. Going to be a big one against Tel Aviv. Can we go one step further than last time? It's going to be a real challenge. Hopefully I'll see you guys for it. It is me, Jack. If you've enjoyed, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.